Hey, what's up everybody? So let's keep going. Okay, we're gonna continue on the 10K series now. And my last video, I worked on seven minutes per mile. I did six workouts. Today we're gonna bump it down to 6.40 per mile. And then we're gonna go to 6.20, six, six minutes, and we're gonna drop 20 seconds until I'm all the way down to 4.40 per mile. Okay, so that's the next series. My first series, I did 5K, and I went from 4.40 up to seven minutes. Now I'm going back down. Okay, after this, I'm gonna do half marathon. And then I'm going to go to marathon, and uh, specific time, uh, specific time pace ranges four and six workouts for each one. So, if you're a coach or an athlete, and you want a lot of good running content information. This is the place for you. If you're new, welcome. If you like stuff like that, hit that subscribe button right now. I've got 200 videos of training detail, extensive training detail, fully detailed programs, workouts galore. I'm speaking from two decades of experience and success. So, this isn't random stuff. You'll find a lot of stuff here, whether you're a middle distance coach, distance coach, doesn't matter. You will find a ton of stuff. And I've got fully detailed programs from the half mile all the way up to the marathon. Beginners all the way up to very experienced and very fast runners. So, but today I'm going to talk about 640 for 10K. I'm going to take you to the whiteboard in a second. That's 4130. Okay, for 10 for for 10K. So if you have your coach and you have runners who are right around that range, you, you you'll now see how to progress from you know over seven to seven to six forty. And you, in the workouts that I'm going to have here, I'm going to have pace ranges next to them or times next to them. Those are the paces that you want to build towards to achieve these particular goals of hitting these pace ranges. So how do you you know progress from one to the next? Well, that's part. Of, you can take a look at my training programs and you'll see a progression of things as well. But Let's take you over here so I could show you the to show you the workouts and we'll talk about them a little bit, okay? So, and you'll see similarities too. Every couple of videos, I'm going to have similar workouts. You'll see this the progression in paces, and then I'm going to give a little bit different option, a little bit more, um, you know, a little bit more workout uh, detail, a little bit more kind of funky or more specific, more race specific, more aggressive workouts as the paces get faster. So, over time, you're going to have you know, over a dozen workout options that you could utilize. I mean, you can utilize even these for the faster athletes and some of the more extensive ones for other folks. So it's completely up to you as a coach. And I say this in other videos, this is where coaching with the eyes is, important, is as important as coaching with the stopwatch. Getting to know your athletes, finding out their strengths, jotting them down, documenting them, finding out their weaknesses. You could see, how do I get my runners closer together? How do I get them to progress the same way? Or run their best when it counts the most. That's where... You know, taking notes is important. Journaling your athletes and journaling a lot of other things as well. But let's get to these workouts, okay? Number one, 400 meter repeats. This is a great early season workout just to get rhythm in the body. And it's something you could build over time to longer distances, to 500s, to 600s, to 800s, and so on, okay? In this case, you're going from 16 to 20, okay? Building towards 16 to 20 times a 400 with a, with a 60 second recovery, okay? That's one minute recovery after each rep. And the goal pace is 140 to 136 per rep. So 140 is 640 right on the dot, right on the dot. Okay, 140, 320 at the uh, 800, five minutes at 1200, 640 at the mile. Okay, and 136 puts you a couple of seconds under. Okay, that's essentially 5k pace. So you're progressing from 10k to pace to 5k pace throughout the workout. Okay, and again building towards 16 to 20 but 16 to 20 that's four to five miles worth of running okay and you'll also see some workouts that are eventually going to have six miles or 10 kilometers worth of volume this is mostly five miles okay but you're going to see a progression as we go on as well okay as people are able to handle more volume but you can you know if you have athletes who can handle more volume now then you tinker workouts you modify them as you see fit okay workout number two this is a way of phasing into a new, you know, intense part of the training, okay? This is a great, very early season workout to kind of give you an idea of who's fit, you know, how, how fit everybody is. And again, you're using three components. So the idea is to build towards six miles worth of race pace, longer reps towards the end of the season, right? Because it gives you a really, really good indication of how fit people are. Well, this is a way of doing it by com uh, incorporating tempo running, 10K pace, and some 5K pace stuff, okay? First part is the two mile tempo. Okay, and the tempo is generally, this is an anaerobic threshold, so it's about 30 to 35 seconds slower per mile. So you see here 715 to 710, 30 to 35 seconds slower. Then you take an eight-minute active recovery. What that anaerobic tempo, this two-mile component does, it elevates the heart rate and helps you transition into a more intense part or helps you transition into 
race pace, okay? Which in this case, early season, it'll help you maximize the benefit of the entire workout, okay? So after an eight minute active recovery, stay loose, you get some fluids if you need to. You do 1.5 miles at 10 kilometer pace, which is 640 to 635 per mile, okay? Race pace, okay? And ideally over time, you can build this towards to two miles and then even some cases more than that. So you do that and then you take a six minute active recovery and then on the back end, you do six times 400 meter efforts with a one minute recovery at 5K pace, okay? Current 5K pace from 136 to 135 per rep, okay? So you're doing two miles, adding one and a half, 3.5, adding a mile and a half, five miles of total running, but it's broken up into three segments, okay? And you folks might not be ready for five times a mile yet and things like that. Those are more intense reps. So this gives you a little bit of everything, okay? Tempo run, race pace, and slightly faster than race pace for shorter reps. So, and again, this is something you can build towards. You build towards a longer tempo or, or more 400 meter reps, eight to 10, and you'll see that as well later on too. So that's workout number two. Workout three, 800 meter rhythm effort. So now you're going from here to longer reps, okay? Same volume, four to five miles worth of running, but longer reps now. But you take a two minute recovery, and we're going from 320 to 313 per rep. Okay, 320 is 640 per mile. 313 is 136, basically doubling it. Same thing. Okay, 10K pace to 5K pace. There you go. It's a progression throughout the workout, okay? And um, another good workout, a good rhythm workout for 10K. This is good early season, transitioning into mid-season. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's a great way of kind of transitioning into more intense bouts of workouts and, or progressing to up to thousands, eventually to 1200s, eventually up to mile repeats, and in some cases, two kilometer efforts for the more fit, more experienced athletes. Workout four, okay? This is a kind of a superset, okay? I call it, you're doing 1600 meter reps a mile and 400 meter reps. You're doing four of each, okay? After the 1600 meter rep, which is going to be at 10K pace, 640 to 635, you take a 130 or 90 second recovery. And then you do a 400 at 5K pace, slightly faster, okay? That's gonna act as a set. So after that 400 meter rep, you do a three minute recovery. And then you do a second time, both of them, third time, both of them, fourth time, both of them. So you're doing four times a mile and four times a 400. Five miles of total running, four of each, okay? And again, the 1600 or the mile reps are at 10K pace, rest 90. 400 meter reps at 5K pace, rest three minutes. And the three minute kind of indicates that it's, that it's the set. Okay, all the paces are right here. R130 stands for minute, uh, minute 30 rest. R3 stands for three minutes. Okay, that's the fourth. And this is a good pace variation workout too. You're transitioning from race pace to slightly faster, race pace to slightly faster, drawing kind of a fart-like effort into workout. And again, this is something I mentioned before. The Kenyans are the best in the world at this. This is how they race a lot. Tactically, they run faster and they slow down, they run faster and they slow down. You'd be surprised at how many people try to follow them and get completely, they're not ready for it. And that's one of the reasons how they win so many races uh, everywhere <laughs> across the world because they do stuff like this. So that's, that's workout number four. Number five, this is a good workout to do about 10 days out from a goal race or a key race, okay? If you're running a 10K and, and let's say, I mean, generally in a season, may, you get maybe two opportunities to run one, okay? There's not many, not a ton of 10Ks out there. And, but in the 12, let's say you're in a 12 week season, it doesn't make sense to run any more than two. Okay, um, in some cases, well, it depends if you're in college, you run one and then you run a regional and then a national, but uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a more of a proponent of running two if possible. Okay, so you run a four kilometer effort, which is 2.5 miles at 10K pace, 1640 to 1630. Okay, and you take a six minute active recovery. Okay, this is the 640 pace, slightly faster. Take a six minute active recovery and then on the back end you do six times 600. Okay, with a two minute recovery, progressing from 10K pace to 5K pace, okay? 230 to 224. It's only, it's 7,600 meters worth of running, but again, at this point, 10 days out from a key race, the majority of the work is done. The hard work is done. Now you're just putting on the finishing details. You wanna make sure you're maintaining fitness and not doing too much to take away from a key race. So this is a great, and, and you need to know what it feels like to go through 4K, sometimes in some situations, even 5K. You need to know what it feels like to be at that pace for that long of a rep. Okay, so that's workout five. And then workout six, six, is a three mile progression tempo run. I like incorporating t tempos and fartleks when we can. This is a three mile progression. So it's not 
7.15 to 7.10 now. This starts at 7.10 and it goes down to 6.50. So let's say it's three miles. You go 7.10, seven minutes, 6.50. You drop 10 seconds per mile. This is a little bit more of an aggressive tempo run, but, the, but it's shorter. It's not a four or five or six mile tempo run. It's approaching race pace, okay? After that tempo, you take a five to six minute active recovery and then in the back end, you do 10 times one minute hard versus one minute easy. Okay, the hard efforts can be about 625 to 610. That's essentially 5K pace down to about 3K pace or the equivalent of 3K pace, okay? And how do you know the equivalent paces and such? Check out the Daniels running formula. I, I, I use it for calculating some paces and things like that to give a better idea. I use my own formulas as well, but the Daniels uh, running calculator is a very, uh, very accurate and very effective one. So check it out. Uh, you, you'll find it pretty helpful. But... These are workout I and mean, these are workouts that you plug in. This is a good, you know, mid season to late season workout, a maintenance workout. This is a good late season workout, okay? This one is a good mid season workout. Good mid season. Good early season. Okay, so I'm essentially giving you too early, too mid, too late. Okay? So you how you know how to break things down. Now what you do in between the workouts is important as well. If you want an idea, check out my 10K training programs. They're all in the description below. Okay? Just so you can get an idea of where to fit workouts like this because Scheduling them out accordingly and appropriate recovery, they're all important pieces to the puzzle, okay? And you need to know kind of where to lay things out, how often to race, how often to do the workouts, when, and so on, just to make sure that you're not only recovering or your athletes are not only recovering properly, but they're progressing appropriately too and not doing too much too soon, okay? So, um, hope you enjoyed this. I hope this was helpful. And I take a look at the seven minute pace one down below. Like I said, I'm going to go to 620 next. You'll see some slightly different adjustments here as well. And then I'm going to continue on this series until we get down to 440. And then we're going to do half marathon, a bunch of them, and then a marathon, a bunch of them. So be on the lookout. Hit the, hit the bell icon if you haven't uh, done so. That way you're notified every time one of these videos comes out. And there's a couple a per week that come out. So I don't want you to miss them. So, And again, please give me your feedback or your insights. If you're a coach, an athlete, and you have experiences of your own, let me know if you think they're helpful. Put your feedback in the comments down below, okay? And um, you know, I, I just hit the thousand mark threshold, and you know, I'm going to be doing a giveaway shortly. And I really appreciate your support. So I want to try to get to two thousand now. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. It's helpful to the channel's growth. It's helpful to let other folks know that this channel exists because my goal with this channel is to serve as many people in the running community as possible to help as many people in the running community as possible. I want people to know that this channel exists, that they have access to 200 plus videos and then eventually 250, then eventually 300 of fully detailed training programs that they may or and workouts that they may have never seen before that they can use at their disposal, okay? If you need to reach me directly for comment or for for questions and training advice, blackbeltrunningcoach at gmail.com is my email or check out top of the line running Instagram page. I have an Instagram page. It's the same name as this running channel. So uh, feel free to reach out to me with any questions of any kind. So thanks for watching. Have a great week. Talk to you next time.